Hello everyone, today I am going to be introducing you all to the schema compare feature in the MS SQL extension in VS Code. To enter the schema compare feature, I am going to navigate over to my connections object explorer over here. And the first step to enter schema compare is I'm going to choose one of the two databases that I would like to run a comparison with. So I'm going to choose my database over here. I simply right click on that database and I see schema compare as one of the options here. Once I enter schema compare, I'm presented with this view of the feature. The first step that I need to take as a user is make my source and target selections. These are the two databases that I will be comparing. You will see that over here by default, it's already entered the database that I originally had clicked on to enter schema compare as the source. As a user, I can change this by simply clicking on this menu button here, and that will show me the select source menu. From here, there's a few different options that I have for different types that I can connect to. I can connect to a database, a DACPAC file, and a database project. If I try to connect to a DACPAC file, it will ask me to insert the file here, and same goes for database project. For this demo, I'm going to be comparing two databases, so I'm not going to be making any changes over here. And on my target, I'm going to choose the other database that I have here in my Object Explorer. So I'm going to make that selection here, and all I need to do is press OK. Now over here, you will see that it has it, it demonstrates and shows the two selections that I've made. It, it should be populated within these two boxes. Now, there's a few things and, and cool features that I want to point out before we run the comparison. The first of which is switch direction here. If I select this button, I would be able to switch my source and target if I want the library database to be my source, for example, and this one to be my target. Something else that I can do is I can enter the options menu. And over here, you will see a wide variety of different options that you as a user can check or uncheck to customize your schema compare experience. So you have your general options and you have your object type options that, again, you can customize. And it's very easy to search for something you're looking for through the search bar at the top. For this demo, I'm going to uncheck the block on possible data loss to show how you make these option selections. And I simply just press OK. Now, the schema compare feature is going to ask me if I want to recompare to see the comparison. For this, as of right now, I'm going to say no. And as you can see, it should remember my options. Now, if you're a user that wants to save your options and use the same ones at a later time, what you can choose to do is you can save a schema compare file. And this file should remember all of the configurations that you have made towards your options. And it should remember how you compare and what you want to compare. And so at a later time, if you re-enter schema compare, you would simply just open that schema compare file that you've saved for yourself. Now that everything is all set, and I am okay with the source and target. All I do is I navigate over to the compare button over here and I select it. And then it will say that's initializing the comparison. And now you will wait a few seconds for the feature to run the comparison. So now that schema compare has ran, ran the comparison, you will see this objects view. And so I'm going to minimize my diff view there. And you'll see a list of all the different objects that are included within your source and your target. It will give you the object type. It'll give you the source name of that object. It'll give you the ability to actually select which objects you want. So you can simply uncheck a box here. And that will not include this object if you choose to apply any changes. You can also see that there's a, a variety of different, it'll just give you a, a synopsis of what your action is. So for example, over here in the target, you have this table that exists, but it does not exist within the source. So it'll tell you to delete that uh, table as a result of the comparison. And once you've selected a object here, you will see the diff view, which, show, which shows you what that change would look like. So you see that because the table does not exist within the source, this is empty. And you will see the table highlighted in red because the action would be to delete from the target and you'll see that change being presented here. And you can select any object in your list and it should show you that um, change and it will show you what it's proposing that it will apply. Once you're okay with the changes that are being made and you have made your 
selections in terms of which objects you want to include. For this demonstration, I'm going to include all of my objects here, but you as a user can select which objects you would like to apply changes to. Once you're okay with that, you simply select the apply button that will apply changes to your target. So I'm going to select this button here and it will ask me, are you sure you want to update the target? I'm going to select yes. And you will see that it is making some changes in progress over here. And this may take a few seconds. Now it'll show you that apply schema compare changes succeeded. Schema compare has completed. Now, if I come here and I re-hit compare at the top left, it will recompare these two databases. And this may take a few seconds again. And you will see that there is no schema differences that were found now. So the schema compare was successful and there are no longer any differences between these two databases. Thank you for watching this demonstration and we can't wait until you try out the schema compare feature in the MS SQL extension.